Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First link in the description. Thank you. Let's go on with the video. Today we get to welcome California's Attorney General, my dear friend, Javier Becerra.
All right, so what's going on today? Okay, my name's Arthur Shopper. I'm a citizen. That's all I need. That's my card to go into any public meeting held by a congressman. Now, I went to Norma Torres' office, or I went to her sign-in table. They said you need to write down your address because constituents who live in the district get first priority. But that was not said. That was not declared when I initially signed up for this event. And now, I have written down my address, and they won't even give me a ticket to go into the meeting. Make sure you document that, Gary. I have to give my address to attend a public meeting. Is that a violation of Brown Act? Is that a Brown Act meeting? It's a public meeting in the state of California. Yeah, that's not a, yeah, that's not a Brown Act meeting, though. It shouldn't matter. You're in Montana? That's a good question. We'll have to look into that. Okay. I will go after Raul. Well, Ms. Torres does vote uh, on our taxes, which all of us have to pay regardless of where we live. And I know that's on the other so side. So I think we do have a right to be here. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't, I don't like being courted off like this, like I'm an animal. Once everyone's in. I already got a... Oh, I'm behind the line that everyone else is out. I'm not getting the line. Okay. So, so I don't live in the right part of Montana. Oh, brother. You know... Wait, I thought I, I thought your party's about being inclusive and accepting I know. and open I to everybody. Vote Norma Torres out. She's a racist. She stands for American citizens. She promotes illegal immigration. Norma Torres promotes. Let us in. You put up a border. Why did you put up a border? You guys believe in open borders. Oh, they locked you out too. Hey, why did you put up a border? There's Americans outside. There's Americans outside. You guys are putting up a border? You're putting up a wall? Oh, there go the communist police enforcers enforcing the communism. Oh, oh look. It's, a, it's an open border. It's an open border. There's a hole in the wall. Why am I being pushed out? I'm not pushing you out. Yeah, you are. You're enforcing communism. You swore to uphold the Constitution. You swore to uphold the Constitution. Look at that. That's a wall. That's a border. That's a border. Can you just go down to the bottom of the That's a border. They believe in open borders. Look at that. Look at that. They just put up a wall. They put up door. They put up a border. Norma Torres is a racist. Today is April 14, 2017. We are here in El Monte. Congresswoman Grace Napolitano is holding a town hall event here. It's a Know Your Rights Immigrant Workshop. Let's be the role models that we would like our children to follow. If you are disruptive, sir, you will be escorted out. That is the rule tonight for everyone, regardless of your political views. If you are disruptive tonight, you will be escorted out. Period. And if you're fearful, mm -hmm. when you're informed, for our president. you will realize that it will diminish your fear. Respect our president. Information our president. diminishes your fear. Respect, Respect our president. Our president. Respect our president. Sir, as in the slander. Respect our president. And power. This is slander. Respect our president. Okay. Right. Calling me a liar. Yes, because well, respect our president. Well, we have a congresswoman here, and you're not respecting her. No, she's in here. 
She's so, being nice. I'm going to continue. Estos son la mayoría de las personas Speak que English. se encuentran documentadas en Estados Unidos. Oh, look at you, <laughs> lying to the people. That's why you speak Spanish. This is your last warning. You will be escorted. <laughs> Now, a lot of these people, if they're not happy living in this state, they could always move to a red state. Yes, they are. Outside. You know that chain link that you some folks have in the apartments for security purposes? That is an invitation for law enforcement to come inside your house. So just make sure that you have it closed. Keep it shut. And if you find this immigration officer at a public place, then um, there are certain things that you need to be aware of. First of all, do not offer, do not volunteer any information to this officer regarding your immigration status, your country of origin, how did you came in the country. There's no need for that. But let's go back to the first uh, right we were talking about. You're going to remain silent, therefore you're not going to volunteer any of that information. Also, do not carry any documents from your country of origin. You want to be undocumented. It could be Of course, it's not going to be fraudulent. Where's the empathy for her? It was a native born American that killed somebody. Shame on you! That person is just as culpable as a foreigner who might kill somebody. So it doesn't make a difference. We have to deal with our both citizens. We don't we have, have to deal family. with illegal victims of crime. We should protect their families and their children too. in the United States that are fearful that their family are going to be deported even though they were victims of crime. Oh, he's permanently separated from her All right, first, first and foremost, separation from her son. my condolences to you, ma'am. I don't know your, oh, your name. Finally, somebody said condolences. Yes. Your name? Sorry, I'm sorry, ma'am. Her son was killed by a man at least in Elmo. Attorney, at least give his condolences to her. I'm doing it. Uh, what about him? What about Ma Napolitano? Ma'am, would you please? No. No. Right now. 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 
nice and be quiet when we're interacting with the Do you understand? Her son is dead! Her son is dead! We understand. And Killed in this town. We can't have the answer. In done. El Monte! Nobody can You're have the mayor of El Monte! I am. Stop interacting with her. Otherwise, I said she leave. I've been nice to you, okay? I'll try. Let's kill El Monte. Okay, thank you so much. She has. I thought this was going to be a meeting for learning more information. But apparently, there's a group that chooses not to uh, uh, abide by our rules. They were saying it when they first came in. Uh, you would be hurt, but you insist on interrupting the You're meeting. breaking the law. You guys are breaking the law. You're breaking the law. You're talking about the United States of America. They do not deserve to be heard unless they be quiet. <laughs> How about Agnes? They do not deserve to be heard. I think we have a, a probably a more than enough information right now. We will continue if you will be quiet. If not, we will call it a night. See, they want to call it a night. Exactly. We still need more information. Exactly. I assure you. Well, you want to you want to stay? You guys should. Yes. Great. Well, no, we don't want to kick anybody out, but they know, yeah. got to learn to be quiet. If not, they will be escorted. You've been hearing that. You've been saying that the whole time. Oh, okay. 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 Several weeks back, I heard that Congressman Pete Aguilar was going to be holding a town hall event, so I signed up right away even though I knew I had a prior commitment. I signed up in the event that I was able to go. Well, the day before the event, I received this email from someone named Becky Cornell. It reads, Good morning. Thank you for your interest in attending Rep. Aguilar's town hall. You're receiving this email because the information you provided shows that you are not a constituent of California's 31st Congressional District. This town hall is intended for constituents, and as such, we are prioritizing their access to the event. Due to the high demand from constituents, it is unlikely there will be enough room for people from outside the 31st District to be able to participate in the town hall. You can view a map of the 31st Congressional District here. Please instead consider watching Rep. Aguilar's town hall on his Facebook page, which you can access here. It will be broadcast on Facebook Live when the event starts at 6.30 p.m. Thank you for your cooperation. So I was uninvited and barred from attending Congressman Aguilar's event the day before it occurred. So Norma Torres won't let us in the doors, and Pete Aguilar sends out emails telling Americans that they are not his constituents. You know, all I ever hear about is how tolerant the Democratic Party is, but I live in the most Democrat state in the country, and I see firsthand how intolerant they are if you don't agree with them. Hey, Pete, I am your constituent. You vote on my taxes, and you support Obamacare, which affects every single person in the country. So everyone in this country is your constituent. How dare you? 
Shocking how the Democrats act in this country and they wonder why their party is dead nationally and is only a regional party. And she's a civil rights attorney, Ariva Martin. Please welcome her to come. meals on wheels, for after-school programs, 
for community development block grant funds and for the Low Income Energy Assistance Program. He wants to totally eliminate funding to the National Endowment for the Arts and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which funds NPR. He wants to cut the State Department by 29%. Yes! And yes. instead, but his worst attack on the budget is reserved for the Environmental Protection Agency, where he reserves the greatest cut of all of 31% and a cut of 25% of its workforce. In fact, Trump, this cannot be a country controlled by Russia. We must have a choice. Trump's ties to Russia. You know that he's been in Mar-a-Lago one out of every three days. Yes. And you know that he has uh, entertained our world leaders there, President of Japan, President of China. They are there uh, at the, the kinds of security related issues that are being discussed are, are being done there with no Accountability. But, but let's just Unbelievable. You guys are such tyrants. This is what communism looks like, ladies and gentlemen. You can't even talk during a town hall, you get thrown out. Unbelievable, you guys. Communism. Wow, you guys threw him out. Can you get my friend, please? Whoa. My friend, go. I need to get my stuff. Wow, you guys are crazy. It's having the pleasure of introducing Congressman Ted Lu. Now, let me give you an update 
on what's happening in Washington, D.C. Y'all want to hear about an update in D.C.? So, let's talk about health care. One thing it did was it was going to cause 24 million Americans to lose health coverage. Second thing it did is it eliminated essential health benefits. Do you know what essential health benefits are? Essential health benefits. Essential health benefits. All right, sir. I give I give you a lot of latitude. If the other people in this audience can't actually hear me, then at some point I'm gonna have you either go away. About four weeks ago, the Trump administration signals to the world through public statements by Rex Tillerson and Nikki Haley, four weeks ago, the Trump administration says, we're okay with Assad in power. All right? That was four weeks ago. A week after the Trump administration says, we're okay with Assad in power. Shut up! All right. because I hear myself talk all the time. Right? It's really about like the folks in the back of the room who actually can't hear what I'm saying. Right? So, so I'm going to start again. Four weeks ago, the Trump administration signals to the world through statements by Rex Tillerson and Nikki Haley that they are okay with Assad in power. A week after that, the president attacks Assad. A week, a week, a week after that, Rex Tillerson goes out. A week after that, Rex Tillerson, you get one more outburst, and then do the police gonna come and I get them out. Hey, dude, dude, I make up the rules. You got it. So a week, after, a week after that, a week after that, Rex Tillerson goes out and says, again, hey, the people of Syria should decide Assad's fate. Nikki Haley goes out and says, we need regime change. Contradictory statements. And the problem is, if you've got a foreign policy where it is like whiplash, right, where you go, a complete stunning reversal, it makes it so that America loses credibility. Yes. Right? Yes. If, you are, if you are a foreign leader, you cannot trust anymore what Rex Tillerson says or what Nikki Haley says because you don't know if the president is going to reverse course a week later. Yeah. So that is a problem. Now we, shift, now we shift to North Korea. I am on the Foreign Relations Committee and we've held a... I am on the Foreign Relations Committee, and we've held a number of hearings. Mr. Officer, can someone remove that?
I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man. or we can actually have a discussion. You guys are in control of that. Next, I would like to introduce Assemblywoman Blanca Rubio. Blanca? I was undocumented when I arrived in the Ooh. remarks brief so we get to as many questions as I can before I have to run. And I want to thank you for... Uh, so the question would be if it's an individual who has not received DACA status, Apple would not have the legal authority to offer employment to that individual. Now we all know that throughout before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on with the video. Today we get to welcome California's Attorney General, my dear friend, Javier Becerra.
All right, so what's going on today? Okay, my name's Arthur Shopper. I'm a citizen. That's all I need. That's my card to go into any public meeting held by a congressman. Now, I went to Norma Torres's office, or I went to her sign-in table. They said, you need to write down your address because constituents who live in the district get first priority. But that was not said, that was not declared when I initially signed up for this event. And now, I have written down my address, and they won't even give me a ticket to go into the meeting!